Hey everyone, welcome back to the middle of nowhere. Uh, before we get started, I want to thank all of you for tuning into the channel. I'm going to do my YouTube Yabber Jabber really quick of please like and subscribe as it helps me continue to do this. Uh, leave a comment down below, especially if you've read the books that we're about to talk about today. And if not, if you have any plans to do so, also what you're reading today. I'd uh, love to hear from you guys. Uh, makes it a lot of fun to interact with all of you and see what you guys are thinking of everything. Uh, but all that being said, I have kind of a special video planned for all of you today. And it's special to me because we're going into story time mode really quick. Uh, about a year ago, I saw a book that was entered into SPFBO 8. It, for those of you that don't know what SPFBO is, that's the self-published fantasy blog off uh, put on by Mark Lawrence, where independently published books are, fantasy books are entered into a competition until there's one standing. And I generally peruse through there just to see what's on there, see what catches my eye and whatnot. And one of them kind of did. And I saw that he was offering uh, copies of his books to reviewers. And so I reached out to him and said, hey, do you think I could get one? And he graciously accepted my offer, even though I told him it would be a few months before I could read it. Anyway, it was last July that I finally decided to pick this book up. Uh, the author is Mr. J.C.M. Byrne. Who I've come to know and is I consider him a, a good friend and have had several interactions with him since then but I decided to pick up the, his book Wistful Ascending. So I'm gonna gush about his series The Hybrid Helix where Rohan features to be a huge part of that series as well as what he asked me to do. If you didn't know, this he did ask me to do a cover reveal for book four of the Hybrid Helix, which will be at the end. I know many of you will now skip the monotone sounds of my voice as I gush about this series, but please watch until the end. It's not gonna be a very long video, um, but if not, enjoy the cover when you get there. Anyway, I picked this book up even with Though the cover didn't um, amaze me. For those of you who don't know, this cover is drawn by the same person who did this cover, Chris McGrath. Uh, he has done all the Dresden Files covers and does a fantastic job. I can't say that this is a horrible cover, it just didn't blow me away when I first saw it. But the story inside definitely did. A uh, brief synopsis is that Rohan is a retired superhero. You don't see a lot of superheroes stories that are out there, even though our fantasy and sci-fi novels generally have a super superhero-esque type person with their magical abilities and whatnot. But you don't see one centered truly around someone that calls themselves a superhero that's in more of our present day setting, as we're coming to know, like in the Marvel, DC uh, universes. But what's pulled off here is amazing, because he's retired, he's retired to a sentient space station known as Wistful, and his whole job is to tow spaceships in and dock on this space station. And you start off just going through his daily life. <clears throat> and then before long, you're pulled into this whole his his problems, his issues that are going on and how he goes about solving them. And you run into a variety of fantastic characters. You have alien species. You have the sentient space station that's amazing to read about. You have space bears. I know that's everybody's favorite that's read the series. I Like, there's just a lot to love about this book. And I loved it a lot, gave it a five star rating easily. And I also recommended it to my friend uh, Andrew from Andrew's Wizardly Reads. And he then recommended it to 
Kayla from Kay's Hidden Shelf, who then gushed about it and got it to take off uh, and to what it's been doing today. And I know that many people are discovering their love for Rohan, much as I did about a year ago. Uh, it's a fantastic story. I highly recommend it. Uh, Mr. Byrne gives me way too much credit for what I've done for him. All I did was read a simple story. He's done all the hard work and then the big guns took, up, took it from there. But I loved it very much and he graciously offered me a copy of his second book, the sequel to Wistful Ascending, Ascending, which is Return of the Griffin, in which Rohan returns to Earth and fights land sharks. Yes, I said that right, land sharks. They're sharks that can walk on land. They are ginormous and the fights are epic and amazing and you get to meet a whole bunch of new superheroes. Some of the characters that you love in book one aren't as present in book two as they were in book one, but this is still a fantastic read. Once again, fell more in love with Rohan, more in love with the hybrid Helix. I don't wanna to talk too much about that because there's gonna be a lot of spoilers. Needless to say, I found myself in love, started talking with Joe or Mr. Byrne uh, about his plans for the series and that he told me that it's gonna be about 270 books. No, I'm just kidding. It's gonna be in the 20s, somewhere in there. Each book is self-contained though, so you can read them and not have to worry about what's gonna happen in the next one, even though it is great to see the growth uh, of Rohan as each book progresses, much in the same way Dresden does as he solves the mysteries, but you see an expanding universe being built before your very eyes. So some ins inspiration from that series for sure. It's funny that they both have the same cover artist. Uh, but after reading book two, he asked me to do the cover reveal for book three, which I graciously accepted. At that time, I did not have this channel to do so, uh, but I was writing for the Escapist Book Company uh, on their blogs, and so I did the cover reveal for book three of the Hybrid Helix, which was my favorite cover of the series. And that was for Blood Reunion that came out last October. It once again returns to Wistful, and the mystery is great. You see a darker side. You can see that his uniform is now in tatters, and there's plenty of fighting. Little known fact is that Mr. Byrne does know his martial arts, and so the fight scenes are described so beautifully and realistically that it makes it a lot of fun to read, and you find yourself being pulled into it naturally, as well as the humor that's in this series. It is top notch, especially if you like dad jokes, which who doesn't like a dad joke? But anyway, I was able to reveal this last uh, August or September, I think it was September, and he graciously asked me again if I could do the cover reveal for the sequel, which will be book four of the Hybrid Helix. And so it is my turn to get you excited with, once again, my monotone voice for book four, and gotta know what it's about. So here is the blurb for you. Rohan once served the Empire. At great cost, he earned his freedom. And has since sought nothing more than to finish his shift in peace and figure out where his love life is going. Then he receives a message from Earth, calling in a favor. A plea for the kind of help only the Griffin can provide. Reluctantly, he recalls his mentor, a man who taught him how to live with his cursed power, a man who had been the galaxy's greatest hope before the Ildrak sent him to his death. What would Hyperion do? So I feel like we're gonna get more of the flashback of what happened on Earth and things, and it looks like he's gonna be involved in some crazy fights as you can see in this cover. As always guys, thank you for watching, happy reading, and stay great. And I now present to you, in all its glory, the cover done by Chris McGrath and others, I don't know who does the graphic arts,
but I give unto you the cover for book four of the Hybrid Helix, Shadows of Hyperion by J.C.M. Byrne.